Good to see you, Coach. Good How you been? Good to see you, Mike. What's up? Oh, you, you know what's up at UMass. Yeah, absolutely. UMass absolutely. You're the UMass yeah. alum. Uh, how is New England treating you in the summer? It's pretty hot. It's been hot. It's pretty hot, hot, yeah. hot is great. We love the hot, <laughs> heat up in New England. What is going on? You know, no relief from it anywhere this year, right? <laughs> no, it's, it's, you know, we can get out a little bit. There's plenty to do at the Cape and everywhere else, so we're having fun. What have you been doing? Have you got a chance to kind of relax a little bit before you start kicking into high gear? Yeah, we've been, we've been going pretty good. We had a number of staff changes this year coming into the season, so we've been kicking it pretty good all summer long. Okay, good. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the biggest talk about it right now is that obviously this is your last year in the CAA. Next year, moving on into 1A football. FBS and the MAC. Um, from the outset, when, when you heard the news, uh, anybody outside the program not familiar, doesn't know the intricacies, uh, the talk is, well, what are they doing that for? What's up with that? Why would they make that move? Educate us. Why would you make that move? Well, it's a, it's a, it's a great opportunity for the school. You know, it's a flagship school in the state of Massachusetts. And, you know, and looking to take advantage of that and Division One football, excuse me, FBS football, as we call it now, gives you that opportunity to do so. So. They looked. They took an, looking at an opportunity to take advantage of, and they certainly did that with the announcement. And now moving forward with the process. But right now it's 2011. We're sitting yeah. right here in the CAA, and we've got a heck of a schedule to play this fall. So we're excited about that. The only thing is that you're not eligible though for postseason. Yes. How difficult is that? How do you approach that? Uh, what do the players think? Uh, well, what... it's certainly disappointing, particularly for the senior class, because yeah. you know those are the guys that have been playing for championships over their career here at UMass, and that's our goal as a program. Is to, is to get into the national playoffs and win the national championship. But first off, our goal is always to win the conference. So that'll be the goal this year, first and foremost, is to win the conference championship, and, and that's that's where we're headed. Six and five last year in 2010. Uh, coming up your third year now as head coach, you were there for years as an assistant. Uh, where do you see uh, the biggest amount of experience coming back where you feel like, okay, i got to rely on these guys and build around this? Yeah, well, we've got, I think, 40% of our roster will be new guys new guys on the roster. So we're going to be a young team again. Last year we were young, this year we'll be young again. But we do have some highlighted guys, and it starts with Tyler Holmes, you know, our two-time All-American linebacker. We've got a number of guys returning that are still going to be young, but they'll be a little more experienced than we've had in the past, the past couple of years. So we've got some good guys offensively. John Hernandez is back. Up front, Josh Samuda is going to be a four-year starter on the line. Julian Talley out wide, and Emilio Gunagu was unhealthy last year at tight end. He'll be back this year. So we've got some real quality seniors that lead that class. It's a small group, but a real quality class. We're going to be talking to Tyler Holmes coming up in just a little bit. We'll get more from him. So yeah, just huge in that linebacking position for you guys, which is great and a great kid too. Uh, but you know, when you look at that too, you have that experience back. Uh, is there anybody that you are going to be perhaps redshirting that you know you're hoping you know, to save you know for that next year when you move up to that other level? Do you do anything like that? Yeah, think? well, I think it's more. Of, we're going to take it year to year like we normally do, which is hey, we want to win this year, and right. the best guys are going to play this year, and we'll treat it the same going from here on out in 2011. No. It is a 2011 season like 2010 was. And we don't redshirt a lot, uh, excuse me, we do redshirt a lot of guys at UMass only because the quality of competition is so strong, it's harder for the young guys to get a foot in the door and to play. I mean, last year we had, we had two guys play for us as true freshmen. Stanley Andre as a special team guy, backup linebacker, and Antoine Tharp started at corner as a true freshman for us and had a great year. But that's only two of the rest of the class we were able to redshirt. So the same will be true this year. Those guys will certainly have them get in the mix right away see what they can do, see if they can earn a spot. If not, well, then they'll be Richard. My first year back on campus, 1995, so I've kind of seen like some of the transformation and the growth of the UMass football program just following it over the years. And you certainly got to be excited about that because the, the attendance is up there now. Uh, you, you played a game at Gillette Stadium last year against New Hampshire. That was awesome. You're doing it again this year. Of course, in the future, you'll be playing some games there as well. You got to like where this program is headed. Yeah, I think they've done a great job. John McCutcheon and Chancellor Hobb, who runs the show there, they've really set up the blueprint, saw an opportunity, took advantage of it, and then they really got the ball rolling. There's a lot of excitement. There's no better time, <clears throat> excuse me, to be at UMass than right now. It's a great situation, and the fans and the alumni base are really looking forward to the future. But we're looking forward to this year in the CAA. It's going to be a great one. Yeah, absolutely. Great competition. Good luck this fall. Uh, always much. good to see you. All right, and uh, we'll catch you down the road. Great, Mike, thanks very much.